like this makes me want more um Illamasqua shadows look how freaking gorgeous they are oh my god all right let's get let's got move on yeah it's amazing amazing <laughs> I hate it I hate this look what am I doing I don't like this eh. hey guys welcome back to my channel um, today I'm doing this really fun, dramatic, smoky eye look for you. It's got a bit of glitter and, you know, all that kind of fun. Um, so, yeah, if you want to see how I did this, let's just get into it. And don't forget that you don't have to use these exact products. Um, this is just what I have in my collection. You can use whatever you have. And you can even change the colours. You can do whatever you want. So, I hope you are having a fantastic week. And let's get into the tutorial. So after priming our eyes, I'm going to take this colour from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette and we're going to use that on our eyes. Um, and this is just a no-name brush. Um, I do know that it is from Crown Brushes, but that is all I can tell you. Um, and I'm just going to pop this in the crease. Well, not in the crease, just above the crease. You know, you know. And I'm also just going to take that underneath and kind of connect it to that outer um, corner. Because we are going to put other colours here and this can come down kind of far and it is going to look weird and ugh. Then with a clean blending brush you are just going to go on the edges of that. Just to smooth everything out, make it all nice. Okay, so I just realized that the palette I am using for this has the perfect transition color in it. Um, so if you have this palette, obviously just use that because all in one. Just remember that I did not set my under eyes, so I'm just going to use the banana powder um, from Anastasia and quickly do that. I love this palette for easy, quick, smoky eye, and you can use this um, like combination with any shadows that you have. So, if you have like a cream um, black or grey or brown, any kind of dark colour like that, um, use that as your base, and then we'll show you the next step. Um, so I actually just like to use my finger for that. Make sure you use your ring finger just because it is the gentlest of all your fingers and you don't want to jab yourself in the eye. And I just start right in the middle and kind of go outwards. I don't take this above the crease but I apparently do get it on my face. But that's fine, we can sort that out. And then with a clean finger going on the edges. to blend it a wee bit. To clean that mess just grab a clean cotton tip and kind of roll it on the mess you've got. Awesome. With this palette in particular you have this awesome pink kind of pinky purple duochrome and then this one up here which is like a brown green duochrome. I can't really, I don't know if you can tell. But a colour that is very similar to this one is um, Club by MAC and there are loads of others but I only know Club by MAC. Um, also I have Illamasqua on my nails. That is a pure coincidence. <laughs> anyway so I am going to go with the um, greeny brown just because that is my favourite and oh yeah. So again I like to use my finger for this in particular but you don't have to I will do the other eye with a brush and I just literally do this look at that and I just dab it on top oh that's so awesome so I concentrate it mostly in the center 
but I do kind of move my finger towards the outer corners as well. I'm going to go in with MAC Swiss Chocolate, but any matte dark brown will do. And I am just literally going to press that on in the outer corner. And surprisingly on the inner corner too, but not quite so much there. And sort of slightly drag it up into the crease. I hope that makes sense, but you can see what I'm doing. And just blending all the edges there. I'm going to take the Paris palette. Oh, we are way too zoomed in for this. From the Paris palette, I'm going to take the colour... Uh, I can't remember how you say it. Elise's. I'm just on a small brush, just going to take that right along the lash line. And just leave a tiny gap on that inner, inner, inner corner. And just connect that on the edge there. Okay, you're going to think I'm totally mad, but from the Paris palette I am also going to take... Um, I'm actually going to mix um, Louvre and Orsay. One is a matte, kind of darker teal, and one is a kind of bright um, a, it's like a bright green kind of turquoise green with um, like gold glitter I know I am nuts and I'm going to run that along below um, that kind of burgundy colour we've got just experimenting why not now I'm going to sort of concentrate a wee bit more in there, in that gap that we left. And this is just on a pencil brush or bullet brush or, you know, whatever brush you want to use. So with that, it's looking a little messy. I'm just going to take um, this E25 from Sigma blending brush and just give it a really good blend. And I know it's really far down and it looks weird, but that is the look I'm going for. You could always just leave this bottom part completely off. Or just do like some black black or brown liner down there, whatever you like. But I wanted to try something different. On the same brush, I am going to take Versailles from the um, Paris palette and just pop that right in there in a corner. And don't worry if it goes over top of that green. The green already had gold um, flecks in it and this is like a white gold. I am totally fine with it. And then going back with some kind of other blending brush. I'm just going over to knock off any crazy excess, okay? I'm just going to take a matte white from Inglot. I just got a text. It's from Pacey. And pop that on my brow bone. And I don't want a shimmery one for up here today because there's so much shimmer going on the lid, and I may even put some more. I know. More I'm going to take MAC. Hmm. MAC Reflex Teal. <laughs> some colour. I'm really just going to get some on my finger. And. dab it on the center. I am just taking a black. If you had a brown that would be good too but to be honest I don't have a brown pencil. I am going to use a liquid liner as always. I'm not going to do a wing I don't think. I'm with my collection mascara which is kind of getting a bit dry. It might be on its last legs. Just going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, contour palette for this. Just going to kind of bronze up. With the brush that we used in our crease, I am just going to do down the sides of my nose.
and then we want an amazing highlight <laughs> so obviously I grabbed the hourglass no I just felt like using these today um, and I'm going to use the middle one which is called incandescent light and this is actually a limited edition ambient lighting powder um, that is exclusive to this palette I believe just for a little bit extra I'm going to take some um, albatross from NARS and just put that right kind of at the corner of my eye but on my cheekbone right there and then take like my powder brush and just and that's just gonna mm, yeah nice little pop of colour there Blankety from MAC this is kind of um it's nude but it's got just a slight kind of blushy PG ah uh, not peachy pinky colour uh which will work with the blush So this is what it looks like close up with the nude lip, um, it's really obviously very dramatic. So the nude look totally, um, nude lip I mean, totally works with this, it does look really nice. Um, I do really like the highlight and yeah, um, this has actually come together really nice. I was worried that the I'd sort of done too much down below but I wanted to play around but I actually, I like it, I would go out with this. I prefer to do a brighter look so I'm going to do that now. For the lips, instead of the nude, I am going to do this Vegas Vault by MAC, um, but I'm not going to put it on too heavy. So kind of, almost like more like a stain, but yeah. I'm just going to line that with Lasting Sensation from MAC, just kind of on the edges. <laughs> I mean on the outer corners. I'm going to use NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. So it's kind of a light pink, but it <clears throat> doesn't have heat to colour. And that just ever so slightly tones down the orange, I'm out of focus, um, of the lip colour that we have. And this is the final Let me know if you enjoyed this by giving me a thumbs up for the video and don't forget to subscribe um and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye